children welcome to maths class in today's class we are going to study about subtraction what is subtraction subtraction means taking away some of the objects from a collection and counting the remaining objects of the collection for example if from the collection of 9 clocks i take away 3 clocks then 9 minus 3 is equals to 6 or in other words 6 is the difference of 9 and 3 children subtraction is the opposite of addition since addition is putting together joining whereas subtraction is taking away now let us understand a few terms used in subtraction let us understand this with the help of an example if we take away 32713 from 48974 then here the larger number from which we subtract the other number is called the minuend and the number which is subtracted is called the subtrahend the result of subtraction is called the difference between the given numbers let us revise the properties of subtraction property 1 subtracting a number from itself when the minuend is same as the subtrahend the difference is zero for example if we take away 45 from 45 the result will always be zero property 2 subtracting zero from a number in this property zero is always taken as the subtrahend let us take the number 35 and 0 when we subtract zero from 35 we get the difference 35 so children if we subtract zero from any number the answer is the number itself property 3 in subtraction the order in which the numbers are subtracted is important we cannot subtract a bigger number from a smaller number but we can subtract a smaller number from the bigger number for example if we take away 23 from 45 in subtraction this is correct but we cannot take away 45 from 23 so 45 minus 23 is not equals to 23 minus 45 remember to subtract a smaller number from larger number let us revise the steps to write in subtraction we write the greater of the two given numbers first then the smaller number is written with its ones below ones tens below tens hundreds below hundreds and so on remember to place the values according to the place value chart we always subtract a smaller number from a greater number then we begin subtracting with the ones from right to the left i repeat we begin subtraction from the right to the left now let us understand subtraction without regrouping this means subtraction without borrowing 
Let us understand this with the help of an example. Aditi had total rupees 69,800 with her. She spent rupees 46,400 on buying computer set. How much money is left with her after buying the computer set? You can also pause your screen in order to do this question. So, total money with Aditi is rupees 69,800. And the cost of computer set is rupees 46,400. In order to find out the leftover money, let us take away 46,400 rupees from 69,800 rupees. Let's start doing the calculation step by step. Children, remember to arrange the numbers as per their place value chart. First, write the minuend that is 69,800. Under minuend, write subtrahend that is 46,400. Now, let's begin subtracting from the right hand side that is from your ones column zero ones minus zero ones is equals to zero ones write zero in ones column in second column that is tens column subtract Zero tens from zero tens is equals to zero tens. Write zero in tens column. Subtracting hundreds column. Eight hundreds minus four hundreds is equals to four hundreds. Write four in hundreds column. Subtracting thousands column. Nine thousands minus six thousands is equals to three thousands. Write three in thousands column. Subtracting ten thousands column. Six ten thousands minus four ten thousands is equals to two ten thousands. Write two in ten thousands column. So Aditi is left with rupees 23,400. Now children, let us understand subtraction with regrouping. Regrouping means borrowing. Subtraction with borrowing. Let us revise. 1 tenths is equal to 10 ones. This means if one borrows from tens column, then it becomes 10 ones. Similarly, if tens column borrows from hundreds column, then it becomes 10 tens. In the same way, if hundreds column borrow from thousands column, then it becomes 10 hundreds. Let us understand this with the help of an example. Let us subtract 45,898 from 84,345. Children, arrange the digits of given numbers according to place value chart in columns. In one's column, we can see 5 is less than 8. So, in order to subtract, 5 needs to borrow from its higher place value number, that is from tens column. After borrowing from tens column, 3 will be left in tens column. Now, moving back to ones column, 5 ones plus 1 tens is equals to 
15 once. Now we can take away 8 from 15. 15 once minus 8 once is equals to 7 once. Write 7 in once column. Subtracting tens column. Since 3 is lesser than 9, so it needs to borrow 100 from 3 hundreds, leaving behind 2 hundreds. 1 hundreds plus 3 tens is equals to 13 tens. Now, 13 minus 9 is equals to 4 tens. Write 4 in tens column. Subtracting third column that is hundreds column. Since 2 is lesser than 8, so it needs to borrow 1000s from 4000s, leaving behind 3000s. Now, 200s plus 1000s is equals to 1200s. Subtracting 800s from 1200s will leave 400s. Write 400s in hundreds column. Subtracting thousands column. Since 3 is lesser than 5, so it needs to borrow 1 ten thousands from 8 ten thousands, leaving behind 7 ten thousands. 3 thousands plus 1 ten thousands is equals to 13 thousands. Now, 13 thousands minus 5 thousands is equals to 8 thousands. Write 8 in thousands column. Step 5. Subtracting 10 thousands column. Since 7 is greater than 4, so it does not need to borrow. Subtract 4 ten thousands from 7 ten thousands. 7 minus 4 is equals to 3. Write 3 in ten thousands column. So, when we take away 45,898 from 84,345, we will get the difference of 38,447. Children, remember taking away left how many more than how many more needed remained difference or given away. These are the different terminologies that imply subtraction. Thank you.